buddy. It is I, uh, the gaming hippie of sorts. So, alright. Recently, in the news, it's been announced that they're trying to release a, well, a inspired game that Sony's producing called Sony All-Stars, or Sony Stars of All. It does not matter particularly on the name, because all I've been hearing since that news has been announced, because trust me, I hear news in that closet over there. I, I came out of the closet just this once to practically sit there and go, oh, at all the negative criticism about a damn game. Now, here's my soapbox derby here of sorts. I am sick and tired of hearing people complain because another company takes this company's idea or concept. Let's face it, the first con thing that most of these Nintendo fanboys were complaining about was, and mind you, was complaining about seeing how the levels look so linear, look uninspired. Let's take a look at Super Smash Brothers, shall we? All the levels look very linear. I mean, is the gameplay fun? I've heard, I've tried, I've seen, i tasted, and yes, the gameplay is fun, so what's the big deal? Now, can they also implement these same principles within Sony All-Stars? Can hopefully Sony make a decent product out of this game, so that way at least Sony can have themselves a Smash Brothers brawl of sorts? Sure, possibility can be there, as long as as they make the controls tight, fun, and addicting. Because let's face it, there's usually three platforms that these characters jump across. Two or three, depending on what um, level you're based off of Super Smash Bros. Now, let's go look at Sony's gameplay, shall we? Now, I'm not going to be showing any footage of that whatsoever, because quite frankly, I don't want to. Go look it up on YouTube. That's why you're here, to watch videos. So then you watch these videos, and you notice... The games are almost identical, exception to the characters. All obviously licensed characters that are all different. So, does that mean it's going to be bad just because you dislike the fact that something's about the same? It doesn't make the game bad, it just means you have a preference of choice. Now, it's just like the whole concept of this. I mean, use this now. I do not take the word cancer or anything like that funny. I don't sit around making jokes about it all day. However, let's use this analogy. It is something that's going to strike a little hard, but it's going to strike you just about enough to make you see the point. Now, say for example, someone discovered a possibility to cure cancer. However, another pharmaceutical company saw this idea and decided to develop a cheaper form formula, an alternative to helping make that cancer cured. Now. Is it bad that the other companies trying to trade credit to get into the idea of curing cancer? No, because at the end of the day, they're trying to help cure cancer too. Doing it cheaply, trying to get more sales? Sure. Is it a little bit mean and a little bit... Yes. But at the end of the day, is it totally wrong? No. We're all gamers here. We all should be handling the situation just like this. Games are meant to be developed, meant to be played, and most likely meant to be competitively played for. And it's just a more competitive nature, such as gamers, such as corporations, such as everything else, to always compete with each other. That's how it is. If they can find a product that Nintendo made that was successful and they want to put their licensed characters all over it, let them. Who cares? I don't care. If it's fun, I'll most likely play it. I didn't think Super Smash Bros. was bad because, yes, it did have linear levels too. Do I hate Nintendo because they made this product? No. Am I going to hate Sony for making the product that's almost identical to Super Smash Bros.? No, I don't care. Do you see Super Smash Bros. in my collection right now? No. Or would I want, potentially want to buy it? Maybe. At the same time, who the hell am I going to play the game with? If I buy it on the GameCube, if I buy it on the N64, playing it myself only gets fun for so long. Should I buy the Wii version, Super Smash Bros. Brawl? Or was it Melee? Maybe well, it doesn't matter, they're all the freaking same. Just additional uh, licensed characters. But anyway, you guys get the entire formula and point here. Who cares if either company try to copy each other as long as they make something fun for us to play? If the game's disappointing, pat on our wrist, shame on us, move on. However, I'm not going to judge a book by its cover. I haven't even read one chapter yet. Yeah, so I'm not going to crap on Sony. I'm not going to 
hate on fanboys necessarily for totally crying on them. However, I am just going to shake my head at them and say, if you don't own an, an, a PS3, what's a big deal? It's just like these people do not own a Nintendo Wii. So they're not going to be able to play that said fun that you think that is produced out of Nintendo. Oh, and, uh, what's what's next? We're gonna we're gonna complain because Nintendo developed a Blu-ray player now. Get out of here. But anyway, I'm the gaming hippie, and I'm going back to go smoke a big gigantic controller because they're smokable. Plastic damage might infect my lungs, but do not worry. I will be back within 30 years time because we supposed to be revived at some point on the other. Or is that trees? I can't remember. Anyway. Take it easy, folks.